All right, so we harvested up the potatoes. Got, I, mean, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred pounds of different colored potatoes out of these barrels. And what I've done is I've just simply cut them in half with the Sawzall. I got some soap and hot water in them. I'm gonna scrub them out super clean. And then I'm gonna use them as temporary cattle feeders. I don't like feeding my cattle hay, let alone grain, grain on the ground. Uh, I think it's a good chance for contamination. The chickens scratch all over. I just think it's a good chance of uh, making my cattle not get as much as they would otherwise get to eat or having their own poop in it or something. And I'm, I'm not happy with it. So what I'm gonna do for now is use these. The problem with this is if you live in Texas or Oklahoma or something, you could probably get away with this all year round. I'm gonna be buried in feet of snow soon. Uh, and this is not gonna work. So I'm not entirely sure what a more permanent solution is. What I'm thinking about doing is taking these and screwing them to the walls on the inside of the cow shed. The only problem I have with that is it might take up so much of their room in there that they don't really wanna spend time in there. And maybe they won't anyways. They might not go in there because they're so hardy. Maybe they'll just go in there to eat. I really don't know. I have so many more questions and answers as a beginning rancher, it's not even funny. But for now, I'm gonna get these things clean and get them on the ground, get some hay in there, get some grain in there, keep these guys going forced. My bull is not looking well at all. I got back from a week away and he looks like hell. Uh, he's lost a bunch of weight. So I'm gonna have to see what his appetite is like and uh, try to get some weight back on him and maybe call a vet, I'm not sure. I'm just learning of this now. But anyways, that's one idea for a temporary cattle feeder. At least in warmer clients, we'll see how this goes. Stand by.